finally, our first vulnerability. HTML injection. Now, I already showed you an example of this bug in one of the first videos of the course, and it's very easy to perform, that's why we're starting with it right now. This is first bug that we are going to cover. For all the bugs that we will cover in this course, we will be asking three main questions. What is it? How can we do it? And how do we fix it? These are important questions for us, especially how we can discover a certain bug. Now, luckily HTML injection is not one of those critical vulnerabilities, however it is considered a bug. And we are going to start off by explaining what exactly is it. So, what is it? To describe it in one sentence, we can say HTML injection is injecting HTML code into the website page. Simple as that. How exactly does it work? Well, here's an example. Let's say we have a very simple web page that performs only one task. It asks the client to enter their name inside of a user input field. Once the person enters their name, for example, let's say that they entered a name Tom. The application then outputs hello Tom. So we notice that this application reflects what we input to the page. We type something in and the application processes that input and reflects it back in a sentence hello Tom. So code could look something like this. We have form where we submit our name and after the form it will output hello and then whatever we wrote inside of our input field. In our code example, our name is reflected here. But the key part of our code is Tom. That is what we have control of. So then comes the question, what would happen if instead of a regular name we submit an HTML code? In this case, a simple open header of size 1 tags and test written between header tags would be enough. What would happen to the HTML code on the web page if we injected this? What would it reflect then? Well, here is where we decide if the page is vulnerable to HTML injection or not. Our HTML code injected in the page would look something like this, once added to this code example. But the question is how will the website process it? Is it going to process it as a regular string or will it process it as an HTML code? If the website processes it as an HTML code and it outputs test written in header size 1, then we can conclude that the web page is vulnerable to HTML injection and that user input field isn't filtered well enough to block HTML tags and HTML code. Okay. This was an example in theory, but right now let's see how that would look like in practice. 